It's 9 o'clock on July the 5th. We will call the Finance Committee meeting. And we'll, I guess we'll check members present because we look a little short today. Alt. Here. Bills. Yes. Curtis. Yes. Due to lack of quorum today, we will not be taking no serious action on anything. Uh, I suppose I'll approve the agenda. Now we can't approve the agenda, but you yeah, kind of like a hit. <laughs> we'll follow the agenda anyway. Public comment. That's probably the most important thing right now I see on the agenda. Is there any public comment for this meeting today? Hearing none, our liability insurance people. No comment from the Schultz Agency. Susie's here, though. Good so. morning, everyone. Okay, so we have <coughs> some renewal information back from Health Alliance as well as Delta Dental and IMED. I do have the information here. Do you want me to pass that out? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Perfect. So we started out at an 8.5% increase on the medical. On medical, 8.5%. But, right, but we did get that down to 5.5% so far. And we are going to be working to get that down even more. Now, with that, do you um, you guys currently have a plan deductible of seventy five hundred? But due to ACA, the Affordable Care Act regulations, that cannot exceed for this next year seventy three fifty. So you will see that Health Alliance um, has sorry has changed that deductible amount for you guys for the plan year. That has nothing to do with that increase of the rates. There were some high claims. Um, we, like I said, we started at 8.5, we're moving down so far to 5.5, and I'm still working with them to get it down even lower. What I have in the packet is the first page is going to be that revised renewal. The second page is what it was at the 8.5%, and then I included the um, Delta Dental renewal, which the employee only rate increased by a few cents or maybe 20 cents, but all the other tiers did go down. And then IMED is not taking an increase for the next four years. They're going to hold your rates again for another four years if you choose to renew with them. Um, so here's where we're at right now with that. Last year we did get a 4.2% decrease, and that's because we switched to that POS, PPO portion of the plan. The year before we got a 5% increase, and then for 2015 we had no increase. So we're staying pretty good. Um, kind of moving up and down, but within single digits. Trend is about 8 to 10 percent, so we are right now with the revised renewal below trend. And again, we'll be working with Health Alliance to try and get that down even more. I don't have quotes from other carriers yet because they will not release quotes for 12-1. We've always worked the renewal early with your current carriers, just so you guys had that information for bu budget purposes as well. So we knew at least where we're at, worst case scenario, would be that 5.5 percent. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, on the uh, percentages that we're seeing change, uh, is that pretty much across the board with all your groups? Well, it, or it all depends on the group size, too, because if you guys are rated by your claims, so the claims that are paid out versus the premium that is paid in to the health lines. So when they look at that, you did have some large claims, so that tends to take that increase. My smaller groups are more ACA rated, so it's a community rated, but when you're in 50 and above, which is a lot of my groups too, you see that increase. Um, I'd say across the board for this size group, I've been seeing about 5 to 6% increases, which isn't horrible, but we'd like to work that as low as we can. How much is that is tied to the Affordable Health Care Act? The percentages? Yeah. Well, is there like 1 or 2% higher in there that is there? They do include your fees in there, and it usually is about 1%, 1 to 2% is the fees, but that's included in that rate that you get, so, from the carrier. But that's where we're at so far, and I'll keep you guys updated. I'll keep Amanda updated with hopefully getting that down more. And so when is the budget? meeting? Um, 23rd and the 25th. 23rd and the 25th. Okay, so I have time to still hear from Health Alliance. I just got the revised renewal Tuesday at 7.30, so at night. So I was like, okay, perfect. At least I'm not going in with the 8.5. We're coming in with the 5.5. So I'll keep you guys posted. And again, that does not include any commission because we just make that consulting fee, which we bill quarterly. Um, and we've been below on that as well because you guys are a pretty good group that stays pretty quiet. So... Hope we keep it that way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Any questions for Susie? I thank you very much. No problem. You guys have a great day. Amanda, I'll be in touch with the data information. Yes, take it. We got yeah, department head reports yeah. next on our agenda. Let's see. Nine one one. Is there any EST? Um, biggest thing is the uh, largest part of the discussion for probably that will be coming today. up on our agenda today. Um, I did get my new person hired. She started officially as of the third. Not the best of timing, unfortunately, but. That's what the schedule allowed for us. So she's begun. She's now going to be two days in. Today will be number three, four. Um, so far, so good. Hope it works. Lisa, did you have anything for finance? I don't have anything for finance. Who's next? Oh, our health department. Well, I give a health a report to the health committee on Tuesday. So nothing new since then, since yesterday was a holiday. Scotty do late report. Um, Eric, did you have anything for the finance? Uh, fiscally, um, some of you are aware that I have been working with an emergency operations center technology grant to purchase some uh, equipment items through that. Uh, further on that, I'm going to purchase computers. However, the grant does not cover uh, labor for installation of said computers. The county's finance policy says that will happen through um, the contractor whom you use area-wide, or at the uh, finance director's discretion. Uh, at $90 an hour, our, my budget cannot um, withstand more contracted work to install three to four computers onto the network. I can, uh, I do have some computer experience. I could probably install some um, new computers uh, for the most part, maybe with minimal work in area-wide. I don't have an answer. I'm just bringing to you uh, something that I'm going to be trying to address in the coming two months. Uh, that I have a grant to purchase computers. The grant does not cover the installation of said computers. And uh, county's policy currently says that needs to happen professionally. So just something to discuss about the future. Did area wide give you a so-called estimate of what they thought it was going to take no, an hour been, uh, or an hour and a half or three days? Um, I've been working with area wide to clear up another bill first um, before I request another quote from them. Sure. Joel, anything for finance? Yeah. Wendy, anything for finance? John? Moving right along. And Ginger is stuck in traffic. So we're going to pass on U of I right now. We'll come back to that. The U of I extension office. I did think I seen where they got some uh, state money, didn't they? Nobody's aware of that? Some money budget this year they didn't have last year. Okay, the next thing we got is discussion action, and we'll action will be limited. On amending the budget due to the telecommunicators payout. Well, gee, um, I guess we're going to have to do it, even though we can't really do it today because we got a uh, change in that line. We've decided where the money was going to come from, but we still got to do all the internal movements for budgetary reasons. And I can't think of anything else that we'd be, well, we have to be doing or. If there's we a reason we in, don't want to do something. We put it in the motion where we took the money. Oh, all on action. I think we did. But we made the yeah. motion to go ahead and pay it at the last meeting. And amend the budget accordingly. Yeah. That would make sense. But uh, at this point. What? It's a consensus of the committee, so. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure it was a, the sources was mentioned in the motion. Source of the money. Well, based it was on safety money, matter of fact. There's no other action. Do you think we need to take no, that? I, I'm, I'm trying to remember myself. I think there was some concern as to whether or not there was enough money in the public safety at that time to cover the full amount because we didn't know exactly. 
see what the full amount would be? The impression I had was it was getting close, but not enough at that time, but we know within a couple months before the end is where we have to make this budgetary change. There was money coming in in the next few weeks well, yeah, or so. Every 30 like days we get a chunk of money. And that was enough to cover it, if I remember. So, if the money, it, it the money, the the money's money. laying there, it all gets put into I one account, so it's all the paper. I, I almost sure it was safe, safety money that a quarter percent of uh, higher sales tax. Right, so, you know, eventually there's going to be enough money to cover that, yeah. but there, there still are is an issue that hasn't been resolved regarding that. You know, the back pay has been paid, but there's an issue about the vacation for a couple of the individuals. We're trying to get information we get that resolved, but it, it could increase the amount, total amount of back pay that can be paid out. Well, when we do the motion, we probably should allow a little bit in the motion, so we don't have to go back and make another motion for another ten bucks later. But uh, at this point, we don't even know the exact dollar amount, so uh, if doing any budgetary actual changes, you got to have dollar amounts tied to it, not knowing the total dollar amount. I don't see how any action. Last month, what was done, just for uh, bring a little history back. Bill's made a motion and seconded by all to pay the liabilities to the telecommunication arbitration ruling using monies from the public safety fund. And that motion carried. So until we get the exact dollar now, <coughs> I don't see how we can really, because the bottom line is we've got to put a dollar amount to amend the budget. We can't amend the budget based off of uh, whatever we right. think it's going to be. We've got to put a dollar amount in. I'm pretty sure by the time the meet, committee meets again next month, we'll have that. But that will not hold up making the payment. So, any other questions on this subject before we move on? We, there are none. We'll cruise on. And you know what? Ginger, are you ready to talk to the Iroquois County Finance Committee? Sure. Tell us all the good news, what the state did for you. <coughs> Here we go. Got me stuff um, They gave us a little money. Good. So here, I'll pass those around. These are just the impact reports from uh, Yeah, the... Um, The state actually gave us what would be equivalent to about a 70% match mm. for last year. Um, and then they gave us a little more for what we consider our general, um, our GRF funds, our general revenue funds. So um, that was supposed to put in my account Friday. I hadn't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's there. Yeah. Um, so 70% is better than nothing So that we've had for about the last three years. Um, and what the university did is they actually gave us a little bit more federal money, the Smith-Lever funds that we use um, to kind of keep us going, floating. Um, so we ended the year in the black but we ended the year in the black because we also had attrition and didn't hire. Um, didn't affect the local um, staff, um, and I made a commitment not to, if at all possible, to affect the local staff, and, and that happened. If you look on, on my little sheet here, um, I like to always show you where um, personnel costs are versus um, the, what your local funds are, and it's about a hundred and three percent. So our local, your local funds essentially pay for uh, our your local staff. Um, we get funds from other places. Obviously, we get fund, federal funds. We get state funds. We get 
um, grant funds um, to pay for part of the rent and things like that. So that kind of shows you that um, that's paying for your local staff there. Um, so and we're and we're going to keep the staff that we have. Um, one thing that helps us is we have that big federal um, SNAP Ed grant, which um, that's the one that's a uh, little about 1.1 million dollars, which kind of uh, expands things. And Fort Iroquois actually have a, that's Ellen Lumen, who is on that, that pays for that and a little bit of our rent and things like that. So we're continually looking at ways that we can um, expand our portfolio a little bit. Uh, we saw during this time that um, during the time when the state wasn't holding up their bargain, um, that we could do it. However, um, our business is education, and in order to keep that going, we've got to keep all of the legs together. And I, so I think what I'm asking for this year would be to, say, to keep things the same. Um, and, then, and that seems, that pays, again, that kind of pays our, our personnel in our local offices. But that's, it, again, you can cut it a lot of different ways, but that's the way I look at it. And um, then we'll... Um, move on from there and I'm hoping that the state continues with their with their funding. So they paid the premiums for the kids also for 4-H, which was diff was nice to, to see that come. So um, so all the 4-H kids, our 4-H numbers um, are pretty stable even without the premiums in this county. So um, uh, our programming continues and it continues to be strong in Fort Iroquois County. Um, and I think what, what I'm asking for is essentially to stay the same at this point. So, questions about that? And the bottom line, I believe, if I'm reading this right, what she's saying is when we do our uh, levies, or exactly. no change in the dollar amounts that they are requesting. So when we get ready to prepare tax bills and stuff, it will be the same. And you're working on your 19 budget now, aren't you? Yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. So, so this is, so essentially what I'm asking for, because we run on different fiscal right. years, right. it will be next year's. So, um, for you, it'll be your year 19 budget. At this point, we'll make a note that we're doing our extensions or our, our levies. They're going to be looking for the same dollar amount. Yeah. I think that's... It kind of sums it up. That, that's it. That's it right there. But if, but if you have any questions, you know, um, I think we can definitely make it there. I'm going to try to cautiously um, replace some of our positions that we're missing. Uh, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go crazy because I, I, you know... Could be very short-lived, though. No? Exactly. Well, I think we have to be good stewards. We, we want to make sure we're, we're getting our... Our uh, <coughs> education out there, but we don't. Yeah, we don't want to be so strapped that we can't um, can't function. So um, it's tough to educate them when you can't <coughs> keep things together yourself. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but we've got a, we've got a really good staff that are here in the four year Koi office and and pretty um, uh, seasoned, pretty experienced group. So I think we'll we're doing okay here. So thank you. Any questions for Ginger? Glad you could make it. Okay. I didn't, I was wondering there for a minute. Was there a thunderstorm or? Well, there was a storm and some construction and it just seemed like the, on the highway it just stopped, people just stopped. Put in the rain? Yeah, well, just who knows. Oh, I, mean, I was hoping there was rain to stop. Well, there was rain. It didn't rain and then it stopped, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Doing good, Charlie? Fine. Thank you. Good. Take care. Review of fiscal policies. I didn't know if there was anything in particular was reviewing today. I did not have it in front of me. No. John, was you aware of anything in fiscal policies we're reviewing today? Oh, no. I think we're going to dig into it a little bit more further. Oh, there was a fiscal policy. Well, I just had a question. Just because some of the new grants for, for through IDPH because they're, you know, they implementing the GATA requirements, the Grant Accountability and Transparency Act. There's been some grant 
language changes and some um, grant um, questions that we need to answer when we're applying for a grant that we might, I, I would love the opportunity if it would be okay with the finance committee to look at these policies again, the financial policies, just for language changes, just so that we make sure our policies meet what the grants require. And I and, and Lord, uh, gave me that opportunity last year and I made those changes and gave them to her. But there are a few, just a few little minor details. Or language. Just language. Language, literal expression. Yeah, well, I mean, like the difference between calling um, your billing clerk at your, you know, you have to have somebody named as, as um, your financial director for your department. You know what I mean? Just little, just language changes. So I just want to make sure that we're meeting those requirements as far as the grants. So I was just wondering if when, when you guys get ready to, you know, take some action on the financial policies, if we could just look at that link, revisit that language, some of it, would that be okay? Yeah, and uh, I think you're not the only department having to deal with some new accounting standards, uh, dealing with this group or that group or whatever the federal government wanted to call it. Um, yeah, I would uh, make sure you review it and see if you can spot all of it because you're going to do a lot better than this. This committee's not going to be able to do it. Some of you are going to have to look at it, bring it to this committee, and uh, we'll try to make the adjustments accordingly. That's, yeah, that's, that's great. Thank you. Any questions for Dee on that one? Sure, none. Well, you know what? We got have to get a budget together before the first of December of this year, and so we're thinking about getting started on it right away. And so we got right now a tentative idea of doing this on January, July 23rd and July 25th, starting at nine o'clock. Uh, and I'm not going to go too much into detail because the chairman and vice chairman is not present, and I'm sure they got a particular agenda. So right now. I, that is our temporary meeting dates, and if there's not a problem that anybody can see of a conflict of a federal holiday or a, somebody's birthday or something. When are going to be a replacement for the Anita? So it'll be on the Tuesday. On the first, on the Monday and a Wednesday, right? There's a meeting in here on Tuesday, so oh, we, uh, we have a Monday and a Wednesday. Oh, there's not a political powwow meeting that we have to read out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, those are tentative dates, and if nobody sees a problem with it, we'll leave them tentative. We can't really lock it down at this point, but uh, but I say we need <coughs> to schedule those meetings right now. 23rd and 25th right. at 9 o'clock? On Monday and Wednesday, right? Monday and Wednesday. You know what And I suppose I probably should be on the chairman and vice chairman to see what their feelings is at this point and hope they can attend. Mm -hmm. Nobody's heard from them? You haven't heard from them? We got a boycott going on. Did we do something? Claims today? Uh, I guess we, we just send them to the full board, I guess, that or uh, if you want me to carry them someplace tomorrow, that... They can either go to Highway tomorrow, the Judicial Committee, and the way after this, I suppose we can... The Judicial Committee, they have a better, because most of the stuff is dealing with the issues in this building. Uh, based off, everybody got a claim sheet in front of them?
garbage pick up advertising? Who's garbage? What? I see there's a garbage pick up, waste hauling bids. Advertising. All the dumpsters that all the dumpsters we have. Two, the one here and the one at the administration building. That looks like more of a management claim. The judicial team for the neighbor. Did uh, anybody see any claims on here? <coughs> Ernie, did you see any claims that was interesting? No. Charlie? Didn't either. Oh, well, you think we ought to send these to judicial this meeting? Judicial would be fine. Yeah, but you know what? We can't make a motion. So the consensus that these claims look okay from this lack of quorum bunch, and uh, let's hope maybe judicial will look at it. Are you going to walk over there after this meeting? Are, are they meeting right now? Yeah, well, they're going to meet right after this meeting. Are you going that way? I believe it's... Can it's you not. take the message or send off? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, you got it. He'll carry it over there. Oh, she can carry it over there. He'll push it through, won't you, Ernie? Yes. I got a lot of pull around here. Consider it done. Consider it done. Okay. Ernie's got to do it, man. Yeah. It's in Ernie's hand. You're welcome to come over there too, if you like. So we're using Paul Z. You go there, they'll probably lock you up. This thing is too close to the lockups for me to walk around. Okay, no action on the claims. We're going to old business. Okay. Old business for this committee. When, what's they doing about the needed replacement? We close or? I have not had an update from Mr. Mataggart. Uh, Personally, uh, How far away are we if we're going to start know. working on uh, the budget? Right. At this point, uh, I have not had no correspondence with him for about two weeks. Uh, nothing positive at that point, but he did have a lot of nibbles. And somebody else might know something other than me on that. Unfortunately. Yeah, I've been kind of tied up with harvest time myself. So, no, nothing yet. How does that go <coughs> for replacement? It's got to go before the county board and vote oh, yeah. on? Oh, yeah. Uh, we've always had the luxury of there's no, no way that you're going to 
going to have things presented to you like, like it happened last in, the, in previous years when Anita had it all put together. Right. Yeah, and that's one thing that we will find. If you've been around here for a while, we went from a, uh, kind of halfway there to basically a nothing back to a, we had a, a Cadillac delivered to us, which made things so much simpler yeah. because we had so much history tied to things, uh, changes, and uh, about mine, more than likely, we're not going to see that again for a while. So we'll just have to. Basic process is still the same. The department heads have to present their requests and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure all the department heads will come in needing a <coughs> decrease in their budget, so we won't have to worry about it. Absolutely. Good thing I don't have a hand grenade in my hand instead of a pencil you to get it. I know what they're coming in. <coughs> I don't have to even ask them. Do you think it's more than 5% of it? Anything else for this? I would suggest a, uh, somebody suggest a consensus is to adjourn. Can't vote on because we don't have a quorum. Adjourned.